Yo, what is going on? And welcome to another episode of the Urban Pitch Podcast, the beautiful game of life, part of the Believe Network. I'm Ramsey Abushala, editor of UrbanPitch.com. We got the co-executive directors of Vibes, Bridget Flores and Julio Matarosa. What's going on, y'all? I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be vibing out anymore. We're on timeout. <laughs> they, uh, it, yeah, it's it was a long day. Uh, we're, we're recording this on a Thursday, the day after the CONCACAF Champions League um, LAFC home match. And you guys are doing your jobs, so the congrats to you. The director of vibes are vibing. Yeah, y'all are vibing. I quit. It, yeah, like <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, you know how like players have load management throughout the year? You yeah. guys have to have load management. I can't you do gotta, back to back. Yeah, you guys <laughs> can't do back to back. <laughs> that Saturday to Wednesday, that's too much of a <laughs> Sunday to Wednesday. Like, like, oh, Sunday. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Sunday to Wednesday. And I'm dealing with a hamstring injury. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I just can't perform at my best right now. And then he doesn't do his jobs. Then I gotta carry the weight of the team. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, but taking a break this week. Thankfully, thankfully we're not we're not on your own. We have a we have a special guest in the building. That's right. Um, we mentioned LAFC before you mentioned him, which <laughs> is know. crazy, not which bad. is crazy. Um, we're gonna be killed in the comments. I know, this. right? But uh, he's an LA Galaxy player. Um, Memo step Rodriguez. Out, huh? <laughs> yeah, just step out right now. Huh? Memo's like, All right, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> Memo Rodriguez. Um, this is he's been we had him featured on the side a couple times, but uh, this is the first time we've had him in person for an interview. What's going on, man? How you been? Thanks. Man, feeling great. I mean, I appreciate you guys having me on the on the podcast, and you know, hopefully, we get down to the nitty gritty and learn stuff about me and learn stuff about you guys. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be it'll be a good you know well rounded conversation here. Well, Julio likes to talk about himself. We all like to talk about yeah, ourselves. Exactly. Like, let's be I love real myself. Here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We love ourselves here. This is a self love. Uh, practicing yeah right mm-hmm. so so That's we'll talk we'll, we'll get into our backgrounds you know our upbringings all that sure. and then and then, like, then we'll get to you like first, the last yeah, 15 minutes first, you know? like long walks on the beach yeah, like holding exactly. hands yeah, yeah. what type of guy are you perfect i should come back in like 30 minutes yeah. <laughs> yeah. actually yeah if you want to use the bathroom like go ahead like you know this is, this is about us you could just close us out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, JK, but JK. but for real, um, it's been it's been a couple years since I think the last time we spoke. Um, new city, you know. Uh, you recently married. You got you got the kid now. Uh, what's new with you? How, how have you been? Yeah, good. I mean, everything moved pretty fast. You know, I mean, since the last time we spoke, and I think it was just an article on a website. Now and now we're doing a podcast now. Yeah. So now you know you get to express your feelings. Hey, it wasn't you, just an article. Come on, <laughs> we, did, we did a little bit more than that. It was a photo. We did photo photos, shoot, yeah, 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 article, yeah, yeah. but it, it came come on, on a website. Come on, come on website yeah. article. Ramsey's like, give me some credit. Uh, I was playing for the Houston at the time, and you know now a new city, like you said, new team, and you know feeling good as family settled in, and you know we're we're glad to be here, and we want to explore the the city a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. Oh, do you no, want to? No, no, no. Okay. Wow. How's the LA life treating you so far? Good. I mean, I think more than anything, I love the weather. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, you know, coming from Houston, high humidity. Mm-hmm. Um, training was hard just because of the heat. Um, but no, like we want to explore LA. You know, we want to go to Disneyland Aww. now that we have a, a two year old. So we're just waiting for the weather to help us out a little bit and, you know, just explore LA and there. make our way out there. I mean, we're like 15 minutes. So. Yeah. So it'll be a great time for him and, and for us as well to see him. You know, he loves Mickey Mouse. He loves, you know, all those shows and, yeah. and he watches it. So it'll be a good time for sure. That'll be very wholesome. Family, yeah. A little family oh, yeah. trip. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but, I mean, homegrown Texas, or uh, you're born and raised in Texas, you know, homegrown Houston Dynamo player, played through, you know, the, the Youth Academy, the USL team and, and the first team. Um, what was it like just, just having that switch and um, making that, um, you know, drastic move out, out here yeah i mean it was it was a hard one i mean obviously um I, basically my whole career like you, you mentioned it was it was tough um but sometimes good things come to an end and you know you you look for new opportunities maybe you know it was a spark for me to come to a new team and you know hopefully you know boost my career in in, in a way that i i don't know you know hopefully everything goes well this season for us and, and the galaxy not just for me um, but obviously, you know, it's hard to left family back home. Like mm-hmm. my wife is the first time moving away from her family. So you, you, out, you dwell a little bit on that. You know, she's sad because it's her first time moving and she's, she's basically alone. So, yeah. um, she has me and obviously we have a friend here, but you know, family is different, you know, when yeah. you're close to family now, she can't just say, Hey, um, can you take care of Luca? We're going to go on a day night now. Aww. It's now it's, you know, it's, right. it's tough. So, um, for me, it's a little bit easier just because, you know, obviously you do the same thing every day. You go to a new team, you go to practice, you meet new people. She's at home all day. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we get the easier part of, 
knowing new people and, and meeting and, and you do what you love, you know, obviously you're training, you're playing soccer or football and, and not soccer, but <laughs> um, yeah, but it's, it's great. I think she's settled in now and, you know, now it's the three of us yeah. now. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sport betting this season. Everything from pro and college basketball to UFC slash MMA and more. You'll always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. With live betting options, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. Bet Online is truly the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Head to website today or use your mobile device to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use promo code BELIEVE, that's B L E A V, to receive your rewards. BetOnline.ag, where the game starts. No, Bridget's a great babysitter, so if you. Yeah. Need, I was, yeah, was going to say. Thank you. Yeah. I am, honestly. I am a great babysitter. So if you need a babysitter for when you you know, want to go on your dates, let me know. And tell your wife, you know, I could be her friend. We could be friends. For sure. Yeah. For sure. No, I, you don't want that. Like, <laughs> you want to be happy. Oh. Like, <laughs> no, no, you don't no, want to no, introduce, no, introduce no, all these no, degenerates. Who do you want to leave? Who do you want to leave? Who do you want to leave? That's how she lures you in, but it's. I'll let my wife be the deciding factor. She starts telling you, hey, I'm not going to. Come on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, babe, I'm going to yeah, reggaeton I'm Landia Bridget. tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, Bridget, yep. Yeah. Julia yeah. <laughs> Rasby told me about her. <laughs> We're going to reggaeton Landia. <laughs> <laughs> JK, JK. No, nah, but um, no, uh, clearly I know I'm not. But we can have fun if she wants yeah. to have some fun. Do they have sure. like the the Galaxy <laughs> Wives and Girlfriends Club where you know they kind of hang out with each other, um, either during the games or you know uh, while, while you're out of training? Is, is that is that a thing? Yeah. So they actually had a family day um, before the season started. So it was kind of cool to have my son after training. You know, he was kicking the ball with me mm-hmm. and and my wife recording and. You know, we had that family day so that everybody gets to meet the wives, the girlfriends, um, everybody that's part of the the team. And, you know, everybody's so welcoming and, you know, it it was great to be a part of. And at least she knew that, you know, you know, she has people that she can talk to and, you know, get to know. So it's it's, it it was awesome for her. Yeah, like a like a little community that she can lean on while she's out here. Yeah, exactly. And there's um, wives and, and guys, teammates that have kids. So the similar age. So it's kind of pretty cool that you know hey maybe one day we can go to his house and you know the kids have fun and you know be able to experience that and at least get away from being alone at home all day yeah how's it been for you and like your mom because I know I, I I heard um you were you were on a podcast I forgot which one it was and I heard a lot of how about how your mom had a huge impact you know with your soccer career and your soccer journey and now that you're not with her like what has that been like for yeah you? it's been it's been super tough um my first year actually whenever i signed homegrown i i went on loan to charleston south carolina mm-hmm. um so she got a little bit of it like you know going on loan but at least she knew that i was coming back yeah. um so f- now it's, it was a little different um for her i think it was real hard for her just because like you said like if I wouldn't be here in this position talking to you guys if it wasn't for her, for her commitment that she did for me. Um, the story is super long. Um, obviously, Ramsey knows a little bit, but I don't know if y'all guys read up on it. Um, she used to take me to training an hour and 15 minutes there and back, so like two hours and a half away. And and it's, it's crazy that, you know, she was able to leave my three younger brothers behind to, you know, fulfill a dream that I wanted. Um, she was not never certain that I was going to make it pro, but at least she had the commitment and her hard work to, you know, that drove me to, to become a professional athlete. So um, credit to my mom, you know, you know, she's been there since day one. Shout out to moms, man. She a real Shout out one. to moms. Yeah. Yeah. My mom would never. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. My, well, my brother and I played both for soccer. My younger brother, he had a better soccer career. He played for the number one uh, rated team in the nation. So my parents do the same thing. They'll drive an hour and a half. Um, to get there, but it was a waste of the time because he didn't go pro. <laughs> 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 hey, Jose, shout out to your mother. <laughs> Jose stays taking strays on this show, bro. He stays <laughs> taking strays. <laughs> I, I was waiting for him. Oh, my my my, no, my no, brother yeah. went pro, and he's like, he was no, no, no. waiting for the heartwarming ending. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, but like he got, we, we both got a full scholarship out of it. So yeah, nice, nice. It's, it's a cool story, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh my goodness. Shout out to my brother. I love you, man. <laughs> 
Uh, but how about how about yourself though? How how are you getting acclimated in LA with with the new team? Um, you know uh, the new system and both both on and off the pitch. Yeah, good. I mean, I think you know that the reason I came here is the LA Galaxy. You know, it always you hear that around the league and you everybody could say um, debatably that they're the best team in the MLS for you know since it started. So you know that brought uh, really lifted my eyes and and for me. Um, it was a perfect, you know, choice for me to come to this team. Um, I was in Houston for eight years, so you know, the change is, is good. Did you have like options? Um, I, I did have options. Um, it was just a matter of who wanted me more, I guess. Mm -hmm. Who who actually presented uh, a contract offer, and you know, I got to speak to Greg, the coach, and and I think that's what really got me to make my decision. You know, I got a coach calling me saying that they want me also the. The GM as well, so you know it's it was great for me to hear them um, pick pick the team. Yeah, yeah. And what was going through your head when when it was like because like you know obviously picking the team and, and saying okay I'm gonna go to LA and then actually going to LA. What was going through your head when you're like yeah, packing it, up? It was actually there? you know pretty funny you know stressful and all the emotions went into because this happened like the last week of when me and my wife were getting married. So we were getting married on the seventh. We're getting everything prepared for our wedding, and then I get a call like midweek. Hey, like my agent calls, and he's like, "Hey, Galaxy's presenting an offer today. Um, go over it, see what you're doing, um, see how you feel about it, and you know, make your decision in like a day or two. And I'm like, "Crap, I gotta make a dis two decisions, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> contract decision, <laughs> and then if I'm gonna get married, if I'm gonna say I do on the on right. the altar, right? <laughs> um, no, no, there was never two options. <laughs> he, he went to he went to Jersey." <laughs> <laughs> There was never two options, but, <laughs> but no, but it, it was super stressful also because, you know, we had a house in Houston and it's like, we have to get rid of like basically mm -hmm. all the stuff inside the house and we're getting married. And it was like, oh, like my wife is probably going to have to do most of the stuff because I had to come in for preseason and, and she stayed home for a month. So she really did everything around the house. She like moved the house. My family helped her, but it was so stressful on her. So we got married and then the next day. We fly out also to like look at houses and and mm -hmm. see um, where we're gonna live. Yeah, so that L.A. honeymoon. Yeah. So, <laughs> so she still bothered me about that. She's like, "You said you're gonna give us a honeymoon after the season's over because we really didn't have one." Mm -hmm. So I'm like, "All right, so I got you. Gotta you. I got yeah, I gotta plan it and and hopefully this off season, you know, we get a chance to do something cool." Yeah, that'll be nice. Any any destinations in mind? Or? So I think beforehand it was gonna be like the Bahamas. Um, so. That's what I kind of decided, but <laughs> I don't know if things change now. We're close to Cabo now, okay. kind of, so, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad shot, shot to you know go to Cabo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can find him in Cabo. This all season. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cancun on three. Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> and so now that you're out here, you know, like you're acclimating to the LA Galaxy team. Like, what's what's been the team dynamic like for you? How have you been doing with the relationships with the Good. Players? I think, you know, like, every, like everybody was so welcoming, um, made it pretty easy for me. Um, obviously, you learn a new system um, under a new coach. Uh, we had we had a lot of coaches in Houston. We had like five, six different coaches yeah. in, in in a while with, with interns, obviously. Um, so now just getting to learn like his system and being able to, you know, do the best that I can in, in his his system to try to prove myself, you know, that I can be a starter, that I can help the team in any way. Um, but no, I mean, I think the team's in a, in a great spot. Obviously, we played two games and got one point, but, you know, it's the beginning of the season and it's something that we have to build on. And, you know, sometimes there's a lot of teams in the league that, you know, start <clears throat> mid-season, get in their form. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think this team can be? Because there's, there's been a lot of um, noise around this team. Um, what do you what do you think this team can be as a whole? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of good pieces, but as a whole, how far can this team go? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, last year, even when I was watching them, you know, they they picked it up with a few, you know, signings they had, um, Gaston and Ricky, who I think they and Martin, who definitely helped the team make the playoffs. Um, obviously, I saw the game against LAFC um, at home, and I think it was a it was a very good game by both teams. And obviously, you know, they didn't. They didn't win and they didn't get the outcome that they wanted. But, you know, obviously, LA Galaxy is a team that always wants to be in playoffs and, and fight for the MLS Cup. Yeah, and we missed out. Well, we didn't miss out for now. But that first game, you know, it was highly anticipated, the Rose Bowl, uh, MLS opener. We, we were going to get a party bus to go. Um, <laughs> but 
what I mean, how like were you guys preparing for that, and what was going through your head when you know you got the call that it was canceled? Because it was pretty last minute too. Yeah, yeah, it was. I think it was the, the day, day before. before. The day yeah. before, we're, we're going to training. It was going to be like a super light training and getting prepared for the game. And um, I've been part of derbies, Houston and Dallas. Obviously, right. mm-hmm. it's, it's, big it's, it's, it's big, a big one. Big um, but I think playing in the Rose Bowl with ninety thousand fans is it's a whole different beast. Is and especially against the LAFC, who, who also is a great team. Um, but, you know, I was ready. I was excited. Obviously, there's little nerves every time you play in a game. But, you know, we prepared for it like, you know, it's like a derby. You know, you always want to win those. Mm. Yeah. Such a shame. I was so excited for that. Yeah. If, if you hadn't noticed, this is – they're they're out big LAFC fans. I'm, like, neutral. I'd stay, you know, <laughs> kind of in the middle. Like he said. Um, um, but uh, – <laughs> That if you rap- were to pick a team, though, Ooh. there you go, there you go. No, we, about we, time to wait for the spot. Man. No, we, yeah, let's, go. let's go, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the team. Yeah, it's about time someone asked. The guy asking you questions. It's not gonna hurt me, but no, I asked the questions. I asked the questions. No, no, no. But we just did this last week. We just did this last last episode. You know, and it was either pick LAFC, LA Galaxy, or take a shot. And I was taking a shot. So um, if you want, if you want, well, got a play, shot this time. Yeah, yeah we don't have the shots. I'll, I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it quick. Um, you know, I like coming into, um, you know, when I was like becoming, paying more attention to MLS. Right, LAFC was you know on the rise. You know, they were doing a bunch of events here. They were doing you know, the cool marketing things. You know, they had the the celebrity ownership, whatever, all this and that. Um, and that was that was you know. Like I was, I was on board. I was like, "Yo, this is like, this is this is really cool," you know, all this and that. Um, and then, but the way you have to think about it, um, and I said this uh, last episode, is they had the advantage of coming in later and seeing, you know, look, Galaxy has done all of this really well, but this is where, you know, they could pick and choose where, you know, they they could make an in, and they did that very well. So congrats to them. But at the same time, the LA Galaxy, they, they really made um, the, the league global. They had, you know, the, the first internationally recognized team in, in, uh, in MLS, uh, you know, five, five trophies or five championships, I should say, um, that, you know, that you can't deny the, the success that they've, they, they've done. And um, so that's where I stand. And if that if you can call that standing so basically I'm a coward so basically yeah, I'm, a, I'm a coward I didn't pick. Trying to be president one day <laughs> yeah exactly I'm trying to manage you know this this the, but um <clears throat> it's, a, it's a piggyback on that like yeah like LA Galaxy we all know like their history um of course due to them trying to bring these world class players like a Gerard uh Ashley Cole like Beckham becoming his world team hurt them because those teams those players didn't put out so it was hard for them to because they, they were what MLS was. So LA Galaxy was MLS, and this is a new MLS. So it's like that person stuck in their in their lane. Now they're finding a new lane, and I think they, they're making some would, moves. Yeah, we're bringing yeah. Ricky uh, Brugman. I always get his name wrong. Yeah, Gaston. Gaston. Yeah, like I think he he's a, a, honestly a low key signing. I just like the way he plays. Yeah. Um, just I will say is the center backs. The only thing like if you guys one more center back, that team could be scary. Like. The team is really, really good. A uh, shout out to your center back. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like the, t- yeah, the, t- yeah. the team has pieces honest, to, honest, honest. Yeah, uh, the team yeah. has pieces to really be like a scary team. Ricky being dynamic. Uh, you and uh, forget the uh, Toronto FC guy. Uh, Mark. Yeah. In the in, no 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 not Mark. Uh, Toronto guy. Center back. Mabina? Center mid. Center mid. Center mid. It's got to be Mark Delgado. Del- 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Del- Delgado. Um, I think the way Ricky just goes forward, you guys moving that middle, it could be a scary team. It's just yeah. missing one or two pieces. A Brazilian guy, suppose he's coming, you're why? I mean, an uh, Argentinian, Argentinian kid. Yeah. yeah. So that team. Conjecture still. So, that yeah. team could be yeah. a scary team in the future. Is that the whole thing is for a new team to that chemistry is always the hardest yeah, part. Exactly. You should take him with you to your next practice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure. Give him that Clearly inspirational has- speech. You guys have the tactics. <laughs> <laughs> The center back might hurt me. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty big. <laughs> You'll come out with a black eye like, yo, who do I? I fell. I fell. It's nothing. It's nothing. I could have gave a direct name. I'm not going to do it because like, I want to go to the game and I get hurt. 
<laughs> oh man um yeah but basically what what i was getting at um is you know a rivalry of this nature like you you i mean you've been in the league for a long time you've seen you know whether it's portland uh, seattle um cincinnati and in, in columbus even uh, a newer one um dallas houston but la galaxy lafc um, that's like kind of become like the the flagship rivalry in the league um just did you did gearing up for that first the opening match were the were the coaches like gearing up for that or like was 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 it mostly a, a players thing like how like what was did it feel different I know it was your first week going yeah, into yeah. it did it feel different than a normal yeah, yeah. kind of prep uh, yeah I think uh, I think for me it was a little bit different than the other guys obviously they had that sour taste in their mouth that right. you know from losing the playoff game um, so everybody was like they wanted to give revenge on, on them and and get get a win against them in the Rose Bowl and obviously you know I'm on board they're, they're my teammates and you know I didn't get to feel what they felt that game and and I know it probably hurt them because it was a I think it was pretty late in the game when they scored a 3-2 yeah, so yeah. um you know to get knocked out like that then you know obviously they want to they wanted to win their first game of the season against LAFC in in the Rose Bowl so it was it was super anticipated game that you know we're willing to to give our all and obviously you know rain weather you know crush crush the dreams of everybody a rain, everybody a rain out this, sun, this is crazy like you know you never hear that yeah i mean i came to la and they're like yeah it rains three times a year <laughs> it's, <laughs> rain 20. <laughs> it's rain 20 it's, it's rain 20 rain, yeah. it's rain 20 i know no but going back to the game like la galaxy was the the hotter team that month prior right. to coming the, to playoffs in the playoffs lafc had sold 37 players so like yeah. it was a whole new team um so like yeah just coming to the game um I was talking with some friends. I was like, this is, this, this is anybody's game. The hottest team, this team, of course, needed to figure it out. With, uh, LAC needed to figure it out with all the players they had. So, but it was a great game. Like, yeah. even, even though it went to LAFC sides, like, either way it would have went, it would have just been amazing. Just that play. And they, they switched roles because Galaxy had the ball more and LAFC were, like, going, going, going to just defend all games. Right. So it was, a, it was yeah, an amazing yeah. game. I mean, I enjoyed it and I was watching it yeah. at home. So, yeah. you know. It was, just, it was a great game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Um, Julio, you know, Julio mentioned, you know, the dynamic players, um, especially in the attack with, with the Galaxy. What, what was it like training with those guys and, and playing alongside of them? And how have you got to, um, you know, build that chemistry alongside? Yeah, good. I mean, obviously you have to get used to different players and their different traits, their characteristics on, you know, their good habits, their bad habits, or what can you do to help them with your ability, you know, and, and obviously that takes time, um, especially for me. Some of those guys have been here for, for a while, so they get to know each other a little bit more. Um, so it's just like learning from them every single day on, on how they work um, on the pitch and, and just, like I said, trying to do the best of my ability to help them and they, them help me at the same time. And obviously that, you know, it's, football is a team sport, so you have to know, you know, the ins and outs of your teammates. Um, does this guy get emotional? Does this guy... Don't get emotional when I tell him something, or or how, or what way do I have to speak how to, to him? How to communicate? Yeah, how to communicate with him if if I want this or or he wants this for me. So, you know, just learning from them every single day, and you know, just till this day, you know, just learning. Who's yeah. Ricky's a little fiery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's I mean, always, I mean, he's I mean, always I mean, getting yeah, yeah. into something. I, yeah, and I mean, I, I like it. I mean, and during preseason, I mean, we're we're already with with Portland, so I think with Portland is going to be a good match now because. <laughs> You know, we, we Ricky started something with, with with those guys, but you know he's he's our, he's my teammate, and you know we have to back him up, and and obviously he has to know the moments when and when to do that. Yeah, you not, said not, that not, not, not when he has a yellow, you know, not when he has a yellow. <laughs> right? You know, he has to watch himself. But no, I mean, you know, that's that's part of his game. You know, he likes he's a guy that likes flair, and you know, we have to feed off of that. You know, maybe mm -hmm. that boosts us up, maybe emotionally brings us down. It's just. Mm -hmm. Um, how are we going to take that and generate it into the game? Yeah. And you talked about, like, learning how to communicate with other with your teammates. So far, you know, as you're starting to build yourself into the team, who has been the person that supported you the most or, like, the, the go-to team player that you have? I think um, it's, it's, it's kind of the same thing with every team. I've only been part of two, but, you know, you, I go more to the Latin guys, the Hispanic mm -hmm. guys, mm -hmm. you know, obviously. Um, it's just natural, you know, you know, yeah. guy that speaks Spanish, you go, you go to him and speak with him. But you know, like I said, everybody was so welcoming, but like Gaston, Ricky and, and, and Martin are, and Douglas, mm -hmm. Douglas, um, Chicha too, you know, those are guys yeah. that, you know, I speak to and a lot during training and after training and, you know, we're in a little group message, you know, we send something here and there. Um, but it's not constant communication, but it, you know, you know, there's the, the group 
group chats there and you can mm -hmm. send whatever so the memes <laughs> the memes exactly the memes uh, talk you know, trash what, about what, the players who are not you see, in the what, in what the do you group see chat? on tiktok and stuff <laughs> like that but no it's fun the, those guys are really the guys that you know really been welcoming and and helped me and basically you know speak to me more. Yeah, speaking of this, uh, there's there's a whole thing about Ricky not liking LA because he can't walk anywhere. It's oh, not yeah. like Barcelona and, yeah. and all that. Were you giving him grief for that? Or, or? I mean, I mean, I mean, sometimes you know. I, I mean, I don't, I didn't know like what they were talking about. Or I didn't get the the TikTok or what he was doing. <laughs> yeah. But no, sometimes sometimes we do. You know, we give him a lot of crap in in the locker room and. Because sometimes, you know, obviously as a, as a footballer, you know, there's bad days in training that, you know, and then you don't want to train sometimes. Um, obviously, your body's tired or you're fatigued or something. You know, and sometimes he, if he come in like that, and you're like, you're bored or what, bro? Like, like what's going on? What's going on? Listen, you, like, if he's bored in L.A., there you go. take him there out. There you go. <laughs> take him Ricky, out. <laughs> It's gonna be dos I'll, I'll, oh I'll, I'll, I'll let Ricky watch this I'll podcast now. I'll show, I'll show. I'll show him. Just have a clip of that, and I'll, I'll show him. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, going back to Ricky, how is it playing with a world class talent like that? Because there's a player that you could be in a in a tight space, and he can bail you out from like he can make a game, yeah, yeah. be a game, or he can make a game not be a game. Because he with his talent, he can he can take over a game if he wants, whenever he wants. Yeah, I mean, it, it's 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 honestly crazy when you see it, like in training, like you see that hey, maybe I can get the ball, and then somehow he you know pokes it away, and he. You try to trip him or something. You just have a low center of gravity that you know he stumbles, but he keeps on right. going. Like it's almost like if he builds more speed, if you trip him or something. But no, it's it's great. I mean, you know, to see a guy like that. He's played in Barcelona and bringing the talent to to our team. You like like you said, he can do so many things in, in the game and change the dynamic of the game. And obviously, we want him to change games and help us win. And and obviously, we have to help him be part of that. And you know, hopefully, this year, you know, we get a lot of wins. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but uh let's take things let's take things off the pitch because a lot of what we do you know is focused you know on, on what, what you get to off the pitch obviously la and and houston two you know very different cities and, and california and texas too like kind of been like you know butting heads for however long yeah. you know um, um they've, they've existed um what, what are the some of the biggest differences that you've seen what are the things you like most about la what are the things you hate most besides you know like the basic stuff just, like the weather and the traffic like the don't say you, i love the weather and i hate the traffic because that's what everybody's no <laughs> I'll, I'll start off with saying it's just super expensive out here yeah. like you know, like mm. everything's just double 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 you know <laughs> you go to the grocery store in houston and it's ten dollars i mean ten limes for a dollar here's ten limes for four dollars and you mm. know everything doubles and um but no it's because they're organic no no <laughs> 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 He's shopping at, at, at Aaron. He's at Trader Joe's. You're going to go to the Superior. <laughs> I know. We're going to send you the, the Latino We got to go to like a meat market North or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, you see, in, in, in Houston, we had, in Texas, we had fiestas. You know, it's okay. like the... Like Northgate. Yeah. So it's like the Mexican yeah. starter bros or bonds or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you go out there and you find everything that you don't find in those in yeah. grocery stores. Right. So, But no, I mean, obviously, I haven't really got to really explore a lot and I'm, I kind of want to settle down get our first home 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 game and you know now finally we have family come in his her sis my wife's sisters come in so we want to find a lot of places that you know we get to explore obviously Disneyland's a, a big a big place um we like eating so we like to try different mm. stuff we, we've tried a lot of sushi spots um we like I've been trying to find me and my wife some taco stands. I don't know if Ooh. where y'all can, you know, give me mm. some Leo's recommendations. Hey, after this, we got you. We yeah, got you. Yeah, we'll yeah. give you a little recommendations. A whole list. <laughs> um, there's there is like this small restaurant or by the taco factory was pretty good. Um, in Long Beach, which is which is like two minutes from my house, so it was pretty good. But I want to go to like an actual taco stand. Yeah. You know, that's, you guys see the greasy fingers. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you see the little the trompo spinning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, yeah. The, with, with the with the banda music the, playing in the back. Yeah, exactly. So, um, I saw something on TikTok. There was an Anaheim one that I just just randomly popped up. I guess mm -hmm. just because I'm in Los Angeles. So. Right. But yeah, don't give out your address yet. Yeah. No, yeah. don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. Yeah. So, but, what about In and Out? Have you had In and Out? I had In and Out. What are your thoughts? We have In-N-Out in Texas now. Oh, okay. Mm. So this is my thing. Dang. We're gonna go the water, water burger and uh -huh. In-N-Out thing. Yeah. So when you go to water burgers, it's not really about the burgers. It's more about the chicken strips, and then people who go late at night from 12, 11 p.m. 
to like, because it's 24 hours, so yeah. 11 p.m., you, they have breakfast. That's when breakfast starts. Mm. So everybody that goes out to clubs, who gets drunk and whatever, yeah. they love the breakfast because the breakfast is, is good. When, I guess when, when you're drunk, you just, yeah. whatever. Eggs, hash browns. It's that's, different. That's what, whatever, it is different, yes. But no, the In-N-Out burgers are definitely better than Whataburger, but I, the fries oh. need to be better. Fries are fries, fries are suspect. Yeah. Fries are suspect. I agree. Yeah, fries the fries could be a fries little better. Like, Whataburger fries are are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It sounds like Whataburger is more of like the experience. The experience. Experience exactly. Because yeah. you don't go like I really rarely go to Whataburger and say, "Hey, I want a double cheeseburger mm -hmm. number two. Right. You know, you go for the chicken strips or you go for the breakfast at night. Late night breakfast. Late night breakfast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. It's the first time I hear that kind of answer for it. So yeah, I appreciate. Yeah, no, that was very that was because normally it's very like polarizing. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's yeah, like you know, forget, like, no, the forget yeah, in and out, yeah. in and out, yeah, trash. You know? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So yeah. you just go more f for those two things: the experience, the chicken strips, and the late night breakfast. What yeah. restaurants out here have you uh, liked the more that you would recommend to people? Um, just let me see. I mean, I haven't really gone to a restaurant spot. Um, really, or any place have you ate? Um, we we like um, Izakaya. On Manhattan Beach, it's a sushi spot. Yeah, um, it's like every 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 trip that we came with Houston, we stayed at the West Drift. Right. Um, and we go there. It's like five ten minute drive, and we would all go to the sushi spot, and it's it's amazing. We love the crispy rice. I think the crispy rice, crispy rice is fire. It's fire. Okay, I, think, I, I think I think it's only a, a California thing because all the sushi spots in like they Texas, they, they don't have them. Only specific ones. Hmm. Not all of them, but like I think we tried two different sushi spots in Long Beach, and they have crispy rice, but in Houston, you would have to find like the place where to get the crispy rice. Interesting. Our yeah. Japanese are not the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean that's an Ameri that's more of an yeah. Americanized yeah. thing. Yeah, you know, no, that, but, it's, but it's really, really yeah, good. The yeah, crispy rice fine. and it's nice, nice and warm is perfect. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah. you get the, you get a little mix of both. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Have you had any like team outings in LA? Um, team outings? No, not yet. No, not yet. Hopefully, we, we, we're trying to we're trying to get yeah, our first yeah. win, probably. Yeah. Then maybe, and then maybe we'll get our first <laughs> team outing. Yeah, yeah. You, hey, you team, team win, team win celebrations. Yeah, there we go. That, you that, missed that. out. You should have been here with the Dos Santos brothers were here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They had fun. They, they had, had fun. fun. They had fun in LA. What what, are, what other spots to go to, or, or, or what's your recommendations? So for tacos, like King Tacos is like a LA staple, like. King tacos. Um, it's like its own thing, though. It's its, its own it's, thing. It's, like, it's kind of like it's, it's not like it's not the it's best. Like, it's not um, the best it's taco. You're gonna it's get. a hyped spot. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the best taco you're gonna get, but it's you something that you should it. experience. Yeah. You okay. should definitely yeah. experience King yeah. tacos. King, King, King tacos. Taco. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Leo's tacos out here in LA is fire, but that like you have to be out here in LA. In LA. Oh, okay. um, but but honestly, when you when you talk about the stands, like. If you see the stand and like there's a line or like you can tell the vibes of like because yeah. all of them are like you're gonna get pretty much a similar experience yeah. but like it's it's just about finding like the certain one in your like area or mm -hmm. location exactly. and then finding that yeah. and then hitting that like making that your place look so. for the ones with the long lines yeah, yeah. honestly yeah. you just gotta make it out to a galaxy game like four hours before in the way remember when we did the tailgate video Oh, the tailgates the at the the, the galaxy fans Oh man, they, 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 they throw it down. down. They, they, they cook, cook up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah picanha, like picanha, every they, bro, the, the picanha. Yeah, yeah, yeah the full Wagyu. on picanha. Bro. Uh, so they yeah. go all out there. Yeah, yeah. They, had the tomahawk, yeah, tomahawk, they, they had the tomahawk <laughs> ribeyes, bro. Like, yeah. So That's maybe dope. show up a little bit early. Yeah, yeah. Day, yeah. Or and try eat to there. And just tell them to save you something, put some away. Like they, they, they're they're doing tomahawk tacos. Like these guys are doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. That's probably like. Good, good experience with the food. I need, I need to go before the game. Yeah, <laughs> no, they know because they, whenever the stadium is open, they're already making line because mm -hmm. they, they, they want to get their. I guess everybody got their own spot. Right. So, yeah, just gotta should, go incognito mode. Throw, yeah, throw the hat on. Yeah. Throw the hood. Of, yeah, yeah, glasses mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. 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 So like spots like for like a bar, like dancing and stuff like that. Maybe one day me and my wife, you know, Ooh. we have a baby. There you go, Bridget. Okay, yeah. so in Long Beach. <laughs> this, is, this is Bridget's in corner. Yeah, this Bridget's corner, Bridget's corner. corner. Yeah. There you go, Bridget. I saw, I saw the Bridget. Reggaetonlandia. <laughs> Reggaetonlandia happening this Friday. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was joking. <laughs> no, in Long Beach, there's uh, Sevillas, which is uh, like a very popular uh, club. And then there's Alegria, which is down the street from it. And then there's another spot next to Alegria. Damn, man. <laughs> 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 it's a whole street. And this it's is Long Beach. This is not even, she hasn't even got to LA yet, so let, let, let her work her you way down. Go, you want me to start in San Diego and then move yeah. on? <laughs> <laughs> we just got she anything Southern everything. California, like I'm there. Yeah. Downtown Bay Fullerton. Area. You gotta we, check in with Bridget before you go to the spot, though. <laughs> just let me know. I'll let yeah, you know yeah. what to look for. She know the bouncers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but those spots are. I would recommend. They're really fun. They play a lot of like 
Latino music, awesome. um, hip hop. Um, the vibes are definitely there. And then obviously out here in LA, downtown LA has a few spots. I mean, we know Caña, um, we know La Cita. What else? Um, Perlas. Oh, Las Perlas too. Um, she takes me out sometimes. I'm like, that's the reason I know. Yeah. I don't be outside like that. Okay, <laughs> says the one that was outside last night. Caña was fun, and they had a, they had a live cumbia band. Yeah, oh, nice. Caña. Yeah. If you're ever out here with your wife, I think Caña, you would enjoy Caña. Oh, nice, mm-hmm. nice. Yeah, she yeah. loves. She she understands Spanish mm-hmm. and she doesn't speak it, but she loves like Latin music and. Mm. That's you know, all you like, need. Yep. Love yeah. it. <laughs> how about how about the stuff you miss from from Texas? Has has there been you know homesickness because you obviously grown up the big there. big houses. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I mean, the houses are, I mean, obviously the houses are one thing and they're completely different in L.A. Like you can get a 1,600 square foot house and you come to L.A. and it's like, no, it's 500 square feet. Yeah, right, right, like, right, right. like, wow, are you, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. But no, I mean, I think I, I wanted, we both kind of wanted change. So I think for her more than obviously family always um, we miss. But I think for me, I think I think I was ready to move on. And I think. Mm. And and I think she was willing to support me, and she was kind of ready too. I'm um, obviously when you have a dip- disappointed season with with his Houston, we're like, I think we're you know ready we're ready to ready to go somewhere, and um and wherever we land, we're, we're gonna be happy. And I think obviously you miss Houston because it's home, but you know I think it was time to move on, and, yeah. and now I get to explore new new opportunities, new city, and you know get a get a part of of this culture now. Yeah, but last season you had you had great games against the LA teams. Both of them. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so they, yeah, so they were like, "All right, this guy, we need this guy in the team." Yeah. They he had a great you could his do. audition. He auditioned. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it, it was, it was, it was crazy because the guys that played here last year, and you know, we beat um, Galaxy three three zero at home, and then we beat LAFC one zero at our place, and it you was had a heck of a game. Yeah. So I think for us, you know, it was yeah, you had great games, but you're still in like tenth, yeah. tenth yeah. place, tenth place, ninth right, place. Right, um, right. I mean, it was always survival mode for us. You know, you always wanted to make playoffs. Um, I think everybody gave their effort every year. Um, obviously, things don't plan out as the way you want them. Um, but like I said, yeah, I think it was ready to move on. And obviously, you build something with the fan base, with the people. Um, you know, I think I was a well-liked guy in, in the community as well. So, you know, you miss those things. And obviously, like I said, you just move on and get to explore different opportunities, different cultures. So when you're playing for a bottom bottom team uh, in the league and you're seeing playing all these teams, it, do you take it as an audition for, like, where am I going? No, no, this is a real question. Do you take it as an audition, like, where am I going to play next season? Or is um, it like, because, like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> no, I think, I, well, personally for me, I think every game is, is, yeah. is, a, is a, an audition and you don't never know who's watching, I think, in – in anything, not just in, in football, I think if whatever you're doing, podcasts, you know, you never know, hey, you know, we want you on here, this show. They might take me away yeah, from them. You, you know. might never know. Um, Beyonce. Possibly <laughs> Jesse's child. So Bridget, the first offer she gets, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, so you never know. So I think for me and, and maybe other guys have that mentality as well, but you always want to prove yourself because you never know who's watching. Um, How do you stay motivated playing with a team that is not always winning? I think it starts a little bit with like self-motivation and I think for me I think it was a little bit comfortable just being around family and Mm -hmm. and I I don't know maybe that's why sometimes you know I didn't want to leave or I could have left sooner or anything like that maybe I was just too comfortable in a place um, which is natural I think for any human being when you're comfortable in 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 a place um, you want to stay there Um, and maybe that affected me at times maybe it didn't Um, but now, you know, you get new, new fresh air, new team, like I said, and you get to explore the new opportunities. And now you have to prove to yourself that, you know, you belong here now, you know, because mm-hmm. obviously um, coming to L.A. Is, is a big deal. Yeah. yeah. Speaking facts. Yeah. You better well, listen. Who he's going to go back to Houston and be like, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> he's going to start talking the L.A. lingo. Yeah. Where we at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's like, worse. Who are your neighbors? Like all the yeah. celebrities don't even worry about it. Like, Big time people. Tom Cruise is like yeah. down the street. Yeah, Adam, Adam Sandler's right next yeah. to me. <laughs> we were just cracking jokes yesterday. Yeah. You see that joke he said in that movie? That was me. Yeah. <laughs> 
but another thing that we we previously talked about is stuff you get off to off the pitch, which a lot of it is 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 video games, and you know it's been a little bit of a stressful time, like moving. You know, you got the kid, you got all this uh, new team, all, all that stuff, but you still have time. And you're still gaming. Yeah, you so in the group I, chat so with, the, with the new yeah, team, so like what, what's going so on? So I so I game uh, um, a little bit now. I mean, it's now it's his nap time is like my gaming period, or when he goes to sleep, I game or. Or sometimes I don't game anymore, you know. Sometimes it's, you know, spending quality time with my wife because she's home all day with a screaming child. She wants to do something. She wants to get out. Um, so, you know, we watch a show together. Um, like right now, she'll put my, my son to sleep 7.38. And then I tell her to eat dinner, and she's like, no, I'll wait for you. So, so you know, so those little things, you know, make the biggest difference. Um, so I, I game sometimes now. Like, I could game every day if, if I wanted to, you know. I want to. Yeah, I really I, want to. I, I really I want to. I get, I get, I really want to. But it, it's not like when, when we were, like, engaged and we were boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, I would play, like, six hours a day. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now I feel bad. Damn. Now I feel bad because I was, in, like, you? playing attention um, to her. But, you know, now, you know, things change. You have a son. You're married. Now she's away from family, so she just can't go to her cousin's house or aunt's right, house. And, right. Um, so sometimes, you know, I get home from practice, my son's screaming his head off. I'm like, hey, go do your nails or go just, just go do something that, you know, what a you, man. you get what a, a man. And, and I'm going to be honest, I don't do it often, but you know, I try to do it. I, I try to, I try to do it as much as possible. You know, He's I try to, to read the room. She, she's listening room. right now. He never does this. <laughs> what are you talking about? She, what, she's she's going to leave a comment. He's lying. <laughs> if, she, if she watches this and I'll show her, she'll be like, Really, I'm gonna go do my nails and hair. Yeah. Next, <laughs> next training session, you come home early. I'm out. I'm out. No, but you know, I try to do, try to read the room a little bit, and you know, yeah. there you go. get her out. Gotta read the room. Um, because at first, you know, she she didn't want to go do her nails. Like she was like not scared to go out, but she's like away from home, mm -hmm. right. sad, new, yeah. new place, new place, and um. So now she's getting a little bit more comfortable. Now she's you know going to the grocery store on her own. You know, she'll get her nails done and. But now, now it's getting better, and uh, and obviously, us getting settled in, in in a new city is 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 being is great now. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, yeah. but like, you ever thought about starting your own Twitch channel, playing video games? So I, so I did, so I did, so before I, that's why I would play so long, so uh, so, so I had to, I would stream mm -hmm. it, especially when the pan was no the pandemic, no I, pandemic, my baby was born, so. Before that, though, I was gaming six, seven hours. Like, I get home from training. I get home from training, just fire game. Then dinner come around, I eat dinner, and then fire it up again. So, Dang, but, that's crazy. So now, now I, can't, I can't really Sacrifices. stream. Because my son is just screaming his head off. So the micro, like, mm. if everybody's watching, they just hear a freaking little boy just you yelling think about the top audience, of his lungs. You know? yeah. <laughs> but it can be a good thing, too. Then, like, oh, Twitch streamer. Professional soccer player with his son screaming his head out. Yeah. You know, tune, right? in. Tune, in. <laughs> tune in. Tune in. Tune in. What is he going to scream about now? <laughs> <laughs> well, the baby stop. <laughs> yeah, we but, don't know. <laughs> but it's great now. Like, I pick and choose now when I, mm. when I play. Like, sometimes I start playing and I'm like, ah, I don't feel it anymore. Like, yeah. I just go watch a show with her. Yeah. Well, speaking of shows, there's uh, that video game ad ad adaptation on HBO, The Last oh of Us. Gosh, You've been yes. watching that? Heck Last of Us. So yeah. I played I played the game. Even my wife played the game. Really? Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I was that like, so good. it's unbelievable. Is, is, is it Have good? Have you seen it? No, I haven't yet. But we, you played the game, but you haven't watched the show yet. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't watched Yo, the show. Yo, I, ha I haven't played the game, but I'm watching the show. It has me hooked. Yeah. Like, I can't wait for Sundays, but it finished already. It's done. It, it, I just haven't well, seen Well, some of the, the guys in, in the locker room said, like, episode five or six wasn't that great. Like, they didn't want to watch it anymore. But I don't know. I could be wrong. People have different opinions. I haven't seen nothing. No. Yeah. It could be. You know, it, people do have different opinions. And I think what it is, if I'm not mistaken, it might be the one where it's more on, like, it gets a little bit more sentimental. Uh, but, like, mm -hmm. it takes you deeper into the, into the story and the yeah. characters. Okay. And yeah. okay. you really have to, like... Yeah, we committed to it. These teammates don't like emotions. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> They're just trying to see some some yeah, zombies get shot, some man. Yeah. It made me cry. I hate it. Because <laughs> yeah, like The Walking Dead, like, is kind of similar, somewhat, somewhat the similar, thing. but there's like Walking Dead just repeats itself. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, that was yeah. That to so me, like, that was the thing with the Walking Dead. So it's like Dead. you moved, find a new community. It's just so you're fighting cool. this community. Right, right. Yeah. You move, you fight this community. Yeah. Like there's always like a new boss, like in a video game. There's right. always a new boss mm -hmm. in yeah. a video game on yeah. The Walking Dead. So um, I'm just finishing it up because I decided, you know, I'm on season eight and I was like bringing, but I, but I watched it like over. That's crazy. That's but dedication. Over, but over like four or five years. Right. Like, okay. I had two years that I hadn't watched it, but I just saw it on Netflix. Hey, like 
mm-hmm. recommended and I saw. They're still putting, are they still putting on I think there's 11 seasons. Yeah, that's See, crazy. I, 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 so I, I never got After four, it. I was like, all right, dude. So I, I just like, I just want to finish it and because mm-hmm. we're watching F1, F1, F1. Oh, yeah, F1 Drive, is to, Drive to Survive, Drive to Survive. Oh, yeah, yeah Drive to Survive is It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. They're doing an MLS, they're doing an MLS style, like behind the scenes type documentary with Apple TV. You don't know okay. that they're, they're getting filmed right now. You don't want to say it though, but yeah. he's working, I'm joking. <laughs> like, like, are we nothing. really? I'm out. I'm out now. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but like F F one is is really really popular and and I like it a lot. Um, my wife sometimes gives me watch like the Perfect Match and like, oh my god, I love and like Perfect Love Is match. Blind and those things. And I just like <laughs> I I pay attention somewhat sometimes. You got to get into it for the but drama. She's a Love Is Blind fan. That's what it is. <laughs> she she's really into it. She she be screaming at the guys like, oh no, I hate him. I hate, I hate him. <laughs> like relax. You don't even know him. I don't follow he didn't them. cheat on you. Yeah. <laughs> I felt relax. It. relax. Yeah. So so it's funny because the the Spanish guys they or the Hispanic guys, the Latin guys. Um, they're watching Temptation Island, but in mm-hmm. Spanish. Oh. And and in preseason, they were watching it, and, and I would watch it with them. And my wife's like, "Hey, like, what are you doing?" I'm like, "Yeah, we're watching Temptation. You never want to watch those shows. <laughs> show with me. You never want to watch. You gotta watch it with the boys sometimes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's different. It's different. It, it is different with the, the boys. The commentary the boys you, give is share? different. What, what's the commentary? I want to know. Don't give that away. Sure. Don't give it. <laughs> just do not. They're, sitting, they're sitting like this with their legs up in the air. <laughs> like no, so I, I wish I had, I wish I had uh, recordings, but Ricky has like a Martin like yelling like, no, like, why, why is this guy crying? Like, why is this guy crying? Because I didn't know anything about Temptation mm-hmm. Island or if they had like a English version mm-hmm. of it, but they do. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know the concept of it. So the concept is pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. Like two couples go, you have a girl house and a boy house, and then the boy house obviously meets new girls and mm. see test their like love. The yeah, yeah. And if the guy like kisses her or does anything with her, like have an intercourse sex or whatever, her specific light turns on so she knows if that <laughs> so like the si- the siren the siren goes off with the light. <laughs> A girl be like, why is, this, why, like, why is my light, light always on? So say like my light's blue and <laughs> and and the blue light turns off for her. She's like, oh, he's Sancho. He's, he knows it's him. She knows That's it's crazy, him. Bro. So it's crazy. It's Imagine crazy. that in real life. It's crazy. So Ricky's just out there just like yelling at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny because because the guys are like crying about their girlfriends like doing oh, something. And the some lights of, are on. And some of the some of the girls. Don't do, <laughs> Some of the girls don't do anything, and some do, but the guys don't know because they're in a separate house. Oh, oh this is insane. So this the is guys' insane. lights don't turn on only the girls? No, 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 no. And, oh. the, and, the, and, the, and the girls. So, like, if a guy's doing something with the girl, then the, the her light turns light. on. Yeah. Yep. That's Adam that did that or something. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, right, you saw that? Yo. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, They're getting, it, like, next level with these shows, crazy. man. It's crazy. That's, that's a unreal. I don't know. Yeah. It will kill me just not so knowing. I think that for the English, Temptation Island is on... What would I would say Peacock, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got it. We but gotta. we watched the Latin version, so I don't know how they get, it, how intense they're, they're, how intense the, yeah. the English, bro. No, because Spanish is a little more the, pasión in it. Yeah. Tone. Yeah. More Come spice. on, bro. Like, what are you talking about, bro? That's gonna be that's yeah. the, 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 the English version. version. The English version. Yeah, especially because it's like Spanish from Spain, so you know they yeah. get they get into it. Uh, yeah, Spanish. Uh, the Spanish light, version, yeah. the light never turns off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, I was watching um, a, br- a Brazilian version of one of the, like, one yeah, of those yeah, yeah. shows. And, oh, it was the one where, like, you can't, like, do anything. And if you do anything with you someone else, you lose the money. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll be what broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that one, they we'll lost, like, half of it in the first, like, episode. <laughs> it's like a 100,000 pot, and then it goes down, like. Yeah. And then at that point, it's, it's like, what are we even here for? Like, like, might we, as well. Honestly, <laughs> we'll go in. Day one, we lost day it all. One. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. It was a, they, cut the, to. they cut the season. <laughs> yeah, it is it's crazy. Record of how, how fast he lost his money. Dang, <laughs> Sorry. That is so funny. Oh, man. Yeah, um, but Memo, we are, uh, we're running short on time here, so we're going to close this, close this out with uh, a start bench cut. Um, so you got to pick one to start, pick one to bench, bench pick one to cut. Um, we'll, we'll throw out some different topics for you. So okay. uh, first, you know, we've talked about this too in the past, but, you know, Houston, you're a hip-hop fan, obviously, you know. Um, there's there's big ties between um, Houston as a, and, and rap as a city, um, but so you got to start one, bench one, cut one between Bum B, Mike Jones, Paul Wall. So we we'll start, I think Bum B. Oh, okay, that was quick. Um, <laughs> I would bench. Would you say again? Uh, Mike I, Jones and Paul Wall. You got. I would bench Mike Jones and then who? Bench Mike Jones. Who? 
I got it for yeah. you. Yeah. That was good. That was good. Oh, yeah, look at I, I it pin. That was like <laughs> he beat me. He, he beat me to it. Like, yeah. He beat me to it. I hate him. That was good. <laughs> mic drop on that on. Yeah. Mic drop. Mic drop. Yeah, and definitely the cup. I wasn't oh, even planning on that. That one was yeah. just yeah. It just, just came. Yeah. Just oh, well, you ain't getting the grill now. I you know, messed up. No, no yeah. but that's Johnny Dang. That's Johnny yeah, Dang. But Paul, Paul Wall gets his grills from Johnny yeah. Dang, you know. There you go. You see? He Business knows, partners. No one knows what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. All right. What about Landon Donovan, David Beckham, and uh, Roy King? Oh, start Beckham, Bench Donovan, and Robbie King. But See ya. But, I think I think that's that's. I don't know why King's like really important for those championships. Yeah, he was. He was. But those two, yeah, Dan, Donovan and Donovan and Beckham, Beckham I mean, just those, their like names. One A, one B. You know, in terms names. of. I think names. David Beckham for sure one, and then you can go between Donovan. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, King. yeah. yeah. Um, all right, video on the video game front, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Destiny. So start Call of Duty for sure. Fortnite, I'm past that now, so oh, yeah. Fortnite can be benched and Destiny cut for sure. Destiny cut for sure. Yeah, yeah. cut for sure. He's oh, for he's sure. Just trash. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, Destiny, I know too, cut her for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not talking about my, yeah. my no, girl. No, different no, different yeah. one, different yeah. one. Only one end. Only yeah. one end. Only one end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I think we can wrap. I think we should wrap. Let's cut everything. Just no. cut everything. Yeah. Yeah. Once you brought the tires, like all this PTSD came back to yeah. <laughs> It's just, I'm, I'm sweating here because I'm like, Julio's like, about all his exes. Yeah. I'm going to call all, I'm going to send a group message to all my exes and be like, All hey, your exes in Texas. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drake. Um, but yeah, I'm going to text them all saying, Hope you're having a great night. Y'all ruined it for me tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but uh, we appreciate y'all for, for listening. Um, for for, for Memo Rodriguez, Julio Matarosa, Bridget Flores, I'm Ramsey Abushala. This has been the Urban Pitch Podcast, a beautiful game of life, part of the Believe Network. We got more stuff uh, coming, so, so keep it tapped in with us. But until then, we'll catch y'all next time.